Yesterday, I made a video on the Star Citizen tutorial and I made a massive boo-boo of it. I've deleted that video, it's now unlisted, because I basically had hints turned off and I didn't have ship entry points turned on. The reason why that's a massive boo-boo is by default they're turned on and I'm told the tutorial is a million times better with that stuff on, which it would be normally. So here I am again, doing the tutorial, doing my due diligence. Developers, if you're watching this video, I'm sorry I made a mistake and hopefully this revisit, relook at the tutorial will satisfy you. Um, anyway, here we go. All right, let's do this tutorial. I've heard some things. I made mistakes. <sighs> All right, let's put it on. So yeah, if I go to options here and yeah, show hints that oh, man. And there's also ship entry if I can find it. Where is it? Uh, yeah, here we go. So yeah, two major things that by default for new players would be on. So it's not really fair for me to criticize the game for not showing me hints in context when I literally disabled them myself. Um, oh my word, look at that. That's so much more useful. Actual context. So yeah, the little box here that you're looking at, I didn't have that yesterday. And I spent the whole video yesterday <laughs> complaining how nothing had context and I need a little bit more information. And it's literally here. Moby Glass journal. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Press one F1 to go to Moby Glass. To go to your journal. Bam. And then you've got this information here. Uh, I read this out yesterday. Basically, it just lets you know all about the game and the various planets and stuff like that. So that's really cool. Love that. You can pause the video if you want to see that. And um, yeah, take your first steps. All right. Walk around a bit. Just jump. Sure, why not? Hunger and thirst. Your hunger and thirst is tracked to the bottom left of your screen. You need to eat and drink to stay healthy. So you can see at the moment it's 50%. This is way more information than I even expected. Right, so drink water. Okay, drink. So we're going to grab that. And we're going to drink the water. Delicious. Right. Uh, let's... Can't drop that. Hmm, okay. Let's just eat the burrito. It'll make me drop it. There we go. Eat that. Oh, look at that. Use the interaction mode uh, in the house to exit. Once you leave, you'll not be able to return. Ah, to quickly get an item in the main interaction, simply press F. That's so good. That's like context I'm telling you about. Use the interaction mode F to call the elevator. Again, more information. <laughs> oh. Enter the elevator and use the interaction mode F to select the ground floor. God damn it, man. Like I say, I spent the whole video yesterday, and I'm not going to go over this too much, but I did spend the video yesterday. I unlisted the video, FYI. I'll link to it in the description if you want to watch it and get angry at me, quite rightly. But um, I've unlisted it, and people can't watch it. This is now my tutorial video. Look at this. Cities, uh, but yeah, it, super fail on my part. Cities and space stations are filled with science to help you guide through navigating. Make sure you observe your movement. To sprint for a limited time, hold left shift. You can also crouch and jump. <laughs> Information. To survive the vacuum of space and other harsh environments, make sure to equip your undersuit with a helmet. Aha! So, that's kind of interesting. So, it's telling me to use the shopping kiosk. <sighs> it's not telling me to buy a helmet, but it I guess it led me to that. In the sense that it was like, look, you're going to need a helmet. And we know we're not wearing one because we saw earlier. Um, let's just put on this helmet. We don't need to put one on. And actually, it's not an objective for this tutorial. I feel like this is... If this is it... If they never told you to put on a helmet, that's an issue, and I think they should change this, and I think they will. <laughs> I've only done the first, like, five minutes of this tutorial, but it's already miles better than anything we saw yesterday. Right, head to the city flight transit terminal. Uh, okay, good information. So, I was, yeah, like I say, if you didn't see the video yesterday, I was getting the prompts on like in the game so you see that 80 meters 70 meters i was getting that stuff and i was getting the thing at the very top i just wasn't getting the contextual thing 
Um, that pops up on the right hand side. Obviously, I was getting the lower bit on the right hand side. This is making no sense. So I got this bit. But I'll, I'll show you the bit. I'll zoom in specifically on the thing I mean, just in case there was any confusion. But yeah, I was getting all this information, heading to the actual train. That's That was good in itself. But now with context. Oh, hey, dude. How's it going? Every major city has public transport to help you get around. If you miss the shuttle, don't worry. Another will arrive shortly. Yeah, this is exactly what I was talking about. It didn't give me... I didn't have that information yesterday. Your exit is coming up. Get off your shuttle at the next stop to reach the spaceport. Again, context yesterday, I didn't have and actually is very useful. Oh, man. That is <laughs> kind of hilarious. All right, here we are. This is my stop. Do you know how I know it's my stop? Contextual information. <laughs> right, objective complete. Exit the shuttle at the spaceport. Next objective, locate the fleet manager terminal. Okay. Lovely stuff. Airspace organization at ASOP terminals to receive store vehicles. A tutorial ship has been temporarily assigned to you. Complete the tutorial to access your vehicles. Right. That's pretty good. It's like, yes, we know you've got other ships. Right now, you're just going to get the Pisces and do that. I really did say, didn't I? I wouldn't go on about it. But this information turns this tutorial into average at best to very very good i'm really happy with this tutorial all right observe the ship marker on your hud to review the hangar and where it's currently stored okay hangar two use the spaceport hangar elevators to reach the appropriate hangar again i'm pretty sure i can't fully remember but i'm pretty sure i made a comment on like you know where's the information and hand holding to get me to my ship <laughs> it was there all along. This is so much better. Approach the ship and use the interaction mode to lower the ramp. Don't forget to close the ramp behind you. Again, I definitely made a comment on like, oh, they should keep like tell you how to open the ship, and there's no, lo <laughs> there's no nothing that tells you where the button to open it is, and it definitely was there. Man, I would have been so mad if I was the developer working on this and then watched my video yesterday. Look at this. Basic controls of ship flight. Again, we didn't get this yesterday. To set the ship's system flight ready, press R. Contact air traffic control, F11, to request permission to take off and open the hangar doors. Ah! I'm such an idiot. Literally moaned about that for a solid minute yesterday. Classic. Classic. Depending on your hangar, the doors can be above or ahead to look around. Hold Z. Oh, we don't need that because we've got head tracking. Uh, wait for the hangar doors to fully open before proceeding. Okay. Love this. Absolutely phenomenal. Right. Pilot the tutorial ship out of the hangar. To ascend. Hold spacebar to descend. Hold left control. I don't know why I'm talking about that. Uh, to aim your ship, use unmod action. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I guess because I'm using joysticks, it doesn't have that information. Uh, also, normally it would be your mouse, but I've unbound that. So that's my bad. That's not the game. Oh. Yeah, I was completely wrong about this tutorial, guys. This is really good. This is an actual solid first flight tutorial experience and I'm an actual moron for yeah, even the landing gear it tells you. Genius. To adjust your maximum flight speed use the mouse wheel the velocity gauge on the left hand side of your hot square gauge. Yeah flight speed we've got that turned off again that's my bad so that's kind of not relevant this makes a lot of sense actually because yesterday I was flying to these checkpoints and I was thinking, why am I still doing checkpoint, checkpoint, checkpoint? Surely I could just quantum by now. But it's giving you information on the speed limiter square, cruise control. I, I mm. To engage your afterburners for a temporary boost in speed, hold left shift. Alright, let's try that. Boost. Oh yes. Look at this. 
There's only one thing apparently I do well in this game, and that is make take good screenshots. And that's just my opinion, so who knows if even that's accurate. There we go, objective complete. Pilot the tutorial ship out of the hangar. I have successfully done that. And now I think we're gonna go to Pugini Point. In fact, I know we are. And I'm interested because there was a lot of context yesterday. Oh, look at that, quantum. Quantum travel, ship flight. It gives you all the information! <laughs> uh, lol. Very good. Yeah. I was completely wrong about this, guys. The tutorial is really good. And actually, I think I was saying it before, but I feel really confident people doing the tutorial having not played the game before and being able to get to Pagini Point. I actually think this is really good. So, yeah. I mean, I could argue, you know, they should have had something in the game that makes sure or, or or turns it back on if for whatever reason it's turned off. The hints I'm talking about. Um, so maybe that's something they could add in, but 99% of players who do this tutorial won't have the setting turned off. Like, they won't have hints turned off, so... I'm actually really happy with this tutorial. <laughs> I think it's solid. Right, lower your landing gear, press N. Tells you that as well. I mean that, if you don't know to put your landing gear down, like, what you're doing. To land, approach when you land yourself. When you're near the landing pad, you may also auto land by pressing button 63. N, otherwise known. I don't think I ever auto land. How do you auto land? Do you have to get within the green thing? Yeah, I don't think I've ever... Let's try it. Let's get a little bit closer. Oh, easy. Now? No. How about now? Ah. Yeah, I just never really used auto land. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section. Do you guys auto land or do you just uh, do it like me and just <laughs> try, like practice your landing skills? Congratulations on touching down safely. To exit the pilot seat, hold action seat generally. V exit. Yeah, it's a uh, Y. <laughs> Again, I don't want to give the game a hard time about the prompts in that contextual menu because menu, menu because a lot of people won't have the joysticks plugged in and stuff. So, yeah, take the elevator to access the station lobby. This is the other thing I complained about yesterday. It's like it didn't tell me to store the ship, is what I was saying, and I'm gonna bet some like a cup of tea that it's gonna tell me to do it now. Take the elevator to the station lobby. Lobby. You watch. You owe me a cup of tea, look. Any minute now. There we go. <laughs> Knew it! Use any of the terminals to store the tutorial ship and complete the tutorial. Once completed, you'll be able to access your own ship from any fleet manager Welcome. terminal. So you get access to all your ships. And this is actually really good with the new delivery system because you're not going to have to claim the ships once you're here. Oh, genius. There we go, guys. I was completely wrong about this tutorial. It's actually fantastic. I feel like they need the... Okay, there's only a couple of things wrong with this tutorial. Number one, they need to force you to put on a helmet. And number two, uh, they need to do more tutorials for the game. Salvage, deliveries, uh, mining. I'm sure they'll get to all those things. Uh, bounty hunting, for example. I feel like they'll get to all those things. But um, this is absolutely... A fantastic start to your Star Citizen experience and I'm super confident that new players will be able to come in and at least do that bit you know I don't think there's anything too stressful or complicated about that tutorial and we you know got out the hangar we traveled we did some Star Citizen stuff so yeah thanks for watching I was wrong and <laughs> the tutorial was great see you next time bye bye